Next is the waterfall. The waterfall is in relation to the music. I don't want it to overpower the music, but then it's also going to be out completely during the portion of the voiceover. So first let's get it right in relation to the audio song, I should say. So I'm going to get rid of my loop, rewind to the top, click play. Too loud. Click my automation, right click, exact value. I'm going to try 13%. Rewind to the top and preview. Let's get the video out of here so I can see that too. I like that at least for right now. Now I'm going to go to the start of the fade in. I'm going to create an, a marker point and call it fade in. Click OK. The next point I already have, it's the in point. I'm going to click here where it starts to fade up back to the waterfall again. Call that one fade up. You can name these anything you want. And then one at the last part of the crossfade. And I'm going to name this one waterfall for now. Now I know where all my points are. Now I can zoom in. And remember that I want the waterfall to be completely out during the voiceover. One is that we don't want that waterfall because we're concentrating on the bear and the bear is at a still pond. So this one I'm not going to automate actually. I'm going to stay in the track. And you can see it turns into a plus sign. I'm going to click one at the fade in point. One at the in point that I named. Then one here at fade up. And one here at waterfall. And right click on this point, exact value will be zero. Okay. And then at the in point here, exact value, zero. Okay. So now if I preview just the bear section. The mother bear searches for food for her cubs. Perfect. I'm going to reduce this track height by going to height and normal. Now I'm going to unmute my little stream sound. Actually, I'm going to make this one a little bit larger. Bring in my video. Now I already know where I want this part to come in. But first I want to set the volume of this portion. So I will just highlight it over here over the bear a little bit. Create a loop, preview. Not find the mother bear searches for food for her cubs. Not find that is just way too loud. So we're gonna go in here to the track volume. We're gonna right click and we'll probably bring this one down to about 17%. Again, Kind of subjective, and you'll probably do more fine tuning once you get them all set to where you like them. Searches for food for her cubs. Perfect. And now we're going to edit the sound for the small pool. I want to make sure that I have enough audio to fit between this section here. Put my automation points in here and go up here. I'm going to go show my window and preview. The mother bear searches for food for her cubs. Not finding any, she retreats to look elsewhere. Actually, that annoys me a little bit. It's still a little bit too loud. So I'm going to go to my automation, 
right click on that exact value point. I think I'm going to go back to 14. Click the automation point to close that. Go back to my normal height size. And finally, we got the birds chirping. Unmute that. I only want the birds during the section of the voiceover, so I'm going to highlight that, push the loop, and preview. The mother bear searches for food. Right now it sounds like a bird farm, so we're going to reduce that. I'm not quite sure how low to go, so I'm going to try 25%. Not finding any, she retreats to look elsewhere. The mother bear searches for food. Ah, I like that. So here are my basic edits. I'm going to get rid of this screen. I'm going to reduce this back to its normal height. Get rid of my loop. and rewind. Now I'm going to show the video, make this a little bit larger, and I'm going to preview the whole thing. The mother bear searches for food for her cubs. Not finding any, she retreats to look elsewhere. I like everything except I can hear the birds throughout the whole thing. So we're going to go back and do what we did on the previous tracks. I'm going to make this a little bit larger. And I'm going to just edit them out. What I did was I took out the birds during the big waterfall and just have them in during the voiceover part. So I'm going to make this normal height again and rewind to the top and preview the mother bear searches for food for her cubs not finding any she retreats to look elsewhere Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to clean up these endpoints by just clicking and dragging so I can trim them up. And finally, what we're going to do is we're going to output this video. Outputting is pretty easy. You go up to File, Mix Down 2, and here you have all your choices. We're going to mix it down to an AVI file. You can create a new folder or put it in a folder you've already created, which I have. We're saving it as an AVI file. Click Edit Details if you want to change the dimensions and or the frame rate, which we don't want in this case because we're producing a end product of a DVD. Name the file. I'm going to name it Bear01. Close up and just push save. Mixcraft will render the movie for you and output the final product. When Mixcraft is done rendering, it opens up a preview window. Push play. The mother bear searches for food for her cubs. Not finding any, she retreats to look elsewhere. Not a bad looking and sounding video. Now I know we moved really quickly through the audio editing, but again this portion of the tutorial was more about the video than it was about the audio. To learn more about mixing and recording audio, take a look at the corresponding videos in the Mixcraft 5 video tutorials.